Hi, my name is Julia Sommer and I'm a scientist on the SAFARI team. SAFARI stands for Simons Foundation Autism Research Initiative and it is a division of the Simons Foundation. Before joining SAFARI, I trained in molecular biology and neuroscience. SAFARI funds basic research that is trying to understand the biological causes of autism and related neurodevelopmental disorders. Simon's Searchlight, formerly known as Simon's VIP, is a research study that is funded by Safari. Simon's Searchlight and other research projects funded by Safari inform each other, and several researchers that are funded through Safari's programs work closely with participant led organizations. In fact, we would like to remind the community that any researcher working on any of the Simon's Searchlight genes can apply for funding for their research to Safari. In addition, any researcher around the world can apply to use the resources, this is data and samples, collected through Simon Searchlight. One of those available resources are induced pluripotent stem cells or iPS cells. So let's talk about what iPS cells are and where they come from. Individuals who register for Simon Searchlight have the option to donate blood for research. The donated blood is sent by mail to our biobank at Rutgers University in New Jersey. This blood is used to make two types of research resources. One is a cell line, we won't discuss in detail here. And another one is induced pluripotent stem cells, also known as iPSCs or iPS cells. In my next slide, I'll talk about how iPS cells are made and why they're valuable. In another webinar, I'll address in more detail how researchers can use iPS cells to shed light on why and how mutations in Simon Searchlight genes cause neurodevelopmental disorders. The iPS cells that we are making are made from Simon Searchlight participant blood donations, but they could also be made from other sources, for example, skin cells. Within your blood, there are many different types of cells that we cannot see with our bare eyes. Cells that are used for making iPS cells are separated and treated in a special way that tells them to become iPS cells. This first step takes about six to nine months. This is the time it takes from receiving the blood to making iPS cells. I wanted to point out that making the iPS cells is not an experiment. Making iPS cells is generating a resource that researchers need to do specific experiments. By making this resource, we hope to save researchers time and money so they can focus on the real experiments. But why are iPS cells so valuable? iPS cells are very special cells because researchers can force them to become specific cells that make up the different tissues of the body, such as the nerve cells that make up the brain or the cells that make up the liver or the cells that make up the heart. Those types of cells are all different and are not easily accessible from a living human. Blood cells that were not converted to iPS cells cannot just turn into these different cell types on their own. The only other cell type that can develop into such special cell types are embryonic stem cells, which are not available from patients. That's why iPS cells are so valuable, because they allow us to make and study usually inaccessible cells from a patient. Researchers can then use the nerve or brain cells they made from iPS cells to understand how and why the cells of individuals with different neurodevelopmental conditions function differently from those of other people. In addition, they can be used to find and test drug therapies. As I mentioned in the very beginning, participants in Simon Searchlight can donate blood that is shipped to and stored at our biobank at Rutgers University in New Jersey. The conversion of blood cells to iPS cells happens at the New York Stem Cell Foundation, and the resulting iPS cells are again stored in the biobank at Rutgers University. It takes about six to nine months to make iPS cells. All the iPS cells that are made with the blood donated to Simon Searchlight are available to researchers worldwide. The iPS cell samples can be requested through a database called Safari Base. Once a researcher requests the samples, the request is reviewed to ensure it's legitimate and the samples are shipped to them. Safari has formed the collaboration with the Nancy Lurie Marks Family Foundation, short NLMFF, to finance the generation of iPS cells. We think this saves researchers time and money and ensures the generation of a high quality, technically homogeneous iPS cell resource. The power behind a project like Simon Searchlight is that researchers can get access to biological sample and clinical information from the same individual 
as well as a large group of individuals that share causes for their disorder. This helps researchers to get a more complete understanding of each in single individual, but also allows them to learn what all those individuals have in common or not. What's more, researchers have access to biological samples and clinical data across multiple genetic conditions linked to autism and neurodevelopmental disorders. We hope the easy access to iPS cells and data for multiple genetic conditions will make it easier for researchers to do the real experiments instead of spending time and money creating resource. With this, we hope to accelerate research and discovery. Importantly, this would not be possible without your participation. Your or your child's blood donation makes this type of basic research possible. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and please feel free to contact us at Simon Searchlight if you have any questions.